right, we're live. Woo! Welcome. Yeah. Hello. How's everyone doing out there? Hopefully they're all listening to this and watching this. Yeah, nice. My name is Waldo, and this is Leo. Yes, it is. But Waldo, it's not just Waldo. You're the digital strategist, Waldo. The digital the, strategist. The, you are, my man. Young man. Hey, uh, podcast. We're doing a podcast. Yeah. Why? Well, we're doing this basically for all of you out there listening to us now, whether you be a marketing manager, an e-com uh, manager, uh, a business owner yourself, a mum and dad running an a, a e-commerce store from home, uh, a large brand looking to tap into the direct-to-consumer market that's yeah. available out there yeah. now. Basically for anybody out there, we know of a lot of podcasts worldwide um, that are specific to their markets, and we're not sure if there's one for New Zealand. We don't really care because it's going to be the one that you want to be listening to now. So <laughs> that's what we is. It's all for you Kiwis out there that's taken on the world in the world of e-com. Yeah, definitely, and it's super exciting and pumped. Um, we've already done some recording sessions, which is great. We've had some great e-commerce managers. We've had some uh, marketing managers from some big brands. That we've I'm had some great to partners from, a, yeah. from, from all the ecosystem in and around. The, yeah. the world so. we've had shopify plus step yeah. in and, and give us a chat so uh it's gonna be awesome when all this rolls out but I, i'm pumped yeah I'm absolutely pumped. and when we did all of those episodes we thought man we didn't actually do like a, just a little bit of an intro for you guys so you know who we are so uh, tell everyone listening out there leo who are you oh how far back do you want to go oh just just as far as the no, internet no i'll keep it as far as the internet <laughs> how old do you think i am <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm young um well look i i Funny enough, studied just down the road here at uh, Massey University, mm -hmm. straight out of uni, did the smartest thing anyone could do, and that was start a business not knowing anything about business. And That's I'm being sarcastic again, when I say that was the smartest move. Started my own web company, knew nothing about digital, knew nothing about websites, and Waldo, you, you probably know this story, uh, I door knocked, and I just didn't even really know how to pitch it. You know, I was like, need a website, was I think what I would say, and people were like, no. We've got the what is a website? We've Why got, do I need yeah, one of those? We've got yellow pages. Why yeah. would I need a website? <laughs> and, you know, things have evolved a lot since then, as, as you, would, you would know, and, um, you know, uh, moved into Zyber, Zyber doing a lot of business websites. I think at one stage we'd done 3,000 plus businesses online. When are we talking here? Oh, that's what? a good point, mate. Um, 2009, I would say, is when I jumped into Zyber, and I'll say 2005 is when I was going out there doing my own thing, and... Uh, I landed some amazing accounts, like accounts I shouldn't have not been allowed to work with. Mm. Um, the ads on TV, I didn't even know how to do ads, mate. Adobe After Effects, like it was that crazy. It was the wild, wild west. But anyway, this whole point of well, who I am and what I've done. Uh, so look, we did a lot in Zyber. Um, that's where I met you. You and I did a lot of selling and helping people get online, um, which was great because they didn't believe. What a believe, different world they that didn't was believe online. today as well. Absolutely. And then we saw that e-commerce wave come along and, you know, we, we've been writing that um, for the last, I don't know how many years. And Seven, there's a eight. bit of knowledge mm. that I want to take out from you about e-commerce. Mm, sure. um, hopefully I've got some knowledge to share, but uh, I think that's me in a nutshell. What about you? Uh, yeah. Oh, in the professional world, um, I guess I've got a bit of a telco background. I actually used to be a chef, funnily enough. That's and, right, you did um, cook a good meal. Yeah, yeah, and uh, just decided that that was not a life for me. And right. uh, yeah, I worked in telco for a little bit for some of the large uh, telco companies out there. Uh, loved it, sort of found my found my way through and sort of always had a little bit of a gift for the gab, so just sort of talking to people. And then um, I kind of saw the, the writing on the wall, uh, writing on the wall, where... Yeah, a lot of lot of advertising was moving online. Obviously, online became a lot um, fluider and faster. People, more people had access to it. And um, I and my partner at the time actually sort of said, "Look, maybe it's a good time for you to sort of change industries." Telco was kind of on the down mm -hmm. that whole race mm -hmm. to zero, yeah. um, essentially. And so, yeah, I joined up with Cyber in 2011. Right. Yeah. Funnily enough, yeah. and I was fresh, fresh, <laughs> fresh, fresh. Didn't you, had a, know you had a good-looking suit, so I gave you the job. I was like, "Look at this guy." <laughs> Far out. Take me back to that tan suit, <laughs> baby blue shirt. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. Slick yeah. Rick. Anyway, um, and yeah, so I mean, we. We were in a back office garage, small we group of people, eight of us in a very small office space, no yeah. windows. We didn't yeah. have a window in no, our office, no did we? Windows. It, it, isn't that crazy? We talk a lot about our partners now. You know, I just mentioned how about we did thousands of websites. That's not what we do now. We, no. we, we, we only work with a handful of e-commerce brands, and uh, we've seen huge growth 
in this area. For sure. But we kind of forget as well that Zyber's gone through a huge growth. Absolutely. And we've gone through growing pain points and having to hire more people. And, you know, what does the marketing look like now? What's our story? But so we've gone through these pain points ourselves. You and I have built our own e-commerce shops throughout this period. Yep. Um, so we know the pain points of being a merchant. And we know, you know, looking at, at it from an outside perspective in on where, you know, merchants should be doing things a bit better. And we've seen, I mean, brands that have not adapted and, you know, what's happened to them. Yeah, no, absolutely. We, we have. And one of the key things that always stands out for me throughout this whole journey is there's there's two people really there's the people who um, take charge and, and make the use of technology and then there's the types of people who enable those people to make use of technology so obviously right. we fall in that 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 sort of sector there but because we have got the experience in dealing with with uh, you know business owners brand owners marketing managers um, on such a variety of different industries and yeah. sectors it's, it's yeah. ridiculous we've had to adapt a lot and I think a lot of the growth that we've had to go through is all dictated by technology and I think a lot of our uh, merchants and, and you guys listening out there, you know, what you can and can't do online is dictated by technology. And so, yeah, we're making use of a little bit of an additional part, a uh, bit of technology here and, and some podcast who uh, is yeah. Yeah. actually at one of our clients who we're working with. Uh, they have a podcast studio. So we thought, hey, look, let's make use of it. Um, some of the things you could probably expect from this podcast um, over the coming weeks, as Leo's already touched on, we have had some uh, Shopify Plus um, agents who we've had a great conversation with. We've had some very, very large e-commerce brand uh, and uh, their marketing manager in here. Mm -hmm. And so I think you can just expect to hear from like-minded people like yourself in the industry um, and then a lot of the value will also come from the partners. And I keep sort of relating it to that ecosystem because e-commerce is not just a website. There is so much strategy and uh, enablement required in and around your e-commerce store to really give that full service old school retail experience to people online. Yeah, absolutely. And well, you've actually forgotten, we got to spend some wonderful time together and we actually did uh, what is average order value, how to make you know best use of that and increase that. We've talked about automation in another podcast, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, BFCM, whatever. BFC. Yeah, yeah, see, I can't even do it. Um, <laughs> that's coming up sooner than you expect. So uh, yeah. there's there's a lot of good stuff coming in. And uh, you know, you mentioned it, it is for Kiwis, but you know, we work with a lot of people all around the world. So anybody listening to this can definitely learn and take away some great tidbits. And yeah, I'm looking forward to rolling that out. Absolutely. So yeah, before we kick into the next episode, I guess, um, yeah, like this is what you guys can expect from this. Um, do the thing. Hit that like button. Yeah, Do that's what I was going to say. Follow so, us on yeah, something. Please share this What's with everybody out there. If you find it valuable, um, share it around. I mean, you're probably listening to this on Spotify or iTunes somewhere. Yeah. It'd be great if you left a review for us. Bad, yes. good. We love bad comments. Because Let us know how good looking us. Waldo is. <laughs> then we can really um, sort of try and make this better. We want to tailor this to you guys there so all your comments are very much valued and Perfect. appreciated. Awesome. So, yeah. So, uh, see you next time. It. Bang. <laughs>